which end miner model suffers the least crash? Which miner suffers the worst crash? Okay, without any further ado, let's talk about ASIC miners. In today's video, I'm gonna start with some general observations and I will be talking about some updates about end miners, gold shell miners, and overclocking. How to overclock your end miners? Okay, starting with some general observation. In the past few weeks, we have seen the ASIC miner prices dropping a lot, almost on daily basis. Have you bought any miners? Or have you bought any cryptos? I got this question many times in the past few weeks. Hey Charlie, do you think we have already at the bottom for these ASIC miner prices? My answer for them is always, I don't don't know but if you really want to ask my gut feeling i think the price is probably going to drop even more but do i know that for a fact i don't know however if you want to ask me is it the best time to buy miners i think maybe because if the price of the asic miners is dropping every day every day is a better time to buy machines than previous days i know to buy any more asic miners these days doesn't look like to be sensible because we don't know when and what is the bottom however i also don't think it makes a lot of sense when asic miners becomes more and more expensive but that is exactly the truth back in a few months ago or even just a few weeks ago everybody knows that we have to be greedy when everybody is scared and we have to be scared when everybody is greedy according to warren buffett everybody knows about this but everybody is also taking actions quite the opposite way isn't this the same thing with everything including stock market real estate market so should we buy or not buy asic miners at all i think a wise decision might be similar to dollar cost averaging if you have a plan to buy 10 miners or 20 miners don't buy everything in one go try to split your order for example maybe you can buy two miners today and three more miners after every three days because we don't know when and what is the bottom what if the ASIC miner prices picks up again? We never know the future. Okay, pretty much enough with general observation. Let's talk about some particular ASIC miners. First of all, end miners. In the past few weeks, I've seen the end miners at a really, really great price in a way that's bigger than what's miners. That is to say, if you want to make choice between what's miners and end miners, maybe end miners will be cheaper for you for the same hash rate because there's more stock of end miners than what's miners. Okay, I also want to talk about which end miner model suffers the least crash it's the L7 miner. It's the strongest end miner and probably the strongest among all ASIC miners. So if you happen to have bought a lot of L7 miners in the past at a good price, congratulations. So if you want to resell your L7s, you don't lose too much money. Okay, so that leads to the second miner I want to talk about today. It's the gold shell miner. If end mine L7 suffers the least crash, which miner suffers the worst crash? <laughs> it's KD6. It's gold shell miners that crash the most among all these ASIC miner brands. Why? Because the coins that the gold shell miners help to mine are altcoins, or some people say shit coins. If Kadena value was crazily up in the past, today it's crazily down. My prediction in March and April actually was right. I said in the past, the K6 miner is a very risky miner because it can crash easily. And today it all happens. To make the matters worse, even when the gold shell miners are very cheap already, still not many people are buying it. In the past few weeks, I still have sold quite a bunch of end miners, but very, very few gold shell miners. What does it mean? It means the low prices of the gold shell miners are still not making sense. A price is only making sense when people are buying, right? Okay, let's not make too many predictions. At least we know the ant miners and gold shell miners are both at great prices these days. Okay, as we are talking about gold shell miners, there's a new miner coming out from gold shell. It's KD Lite. The gold shell Lite series is a slightly more powerful and profitable miner than the small box series. And at the same time, it is a choice that is really friendly for home mining because the Lite gold shell miners are said to be very silent when they're mining. I got a price reference from gold shell, but also potentially I could get a few VIP deals with gold shell. Okay, the last topic we're talking today is how to overclock and miners there are two ways one is more expensive one is cheaper the more expensive way is using one of these oil cooling boxes i mean it looks very cheap at the face value but the shipping of these bulky boxes can be very high because they are really big. Aside from buying this box, you also have to outsource some other parts to make this oil cooling finally work. And it will definitely be very frustrating and time consuming when you're setting up the first cooling box. There is another concern about this oil cooling box. According to one of the minor repair engineers I know, it is very difficult to clean these end miners after oil cooling because the end miners will look very, very dirty. So it will probably be very hard for you to resell them after oil cooling. By the way, in the next few days, I probably will be having the opportunity to document the setup and 
and operation of some of these oil cooling boxes. I will keep you posted. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's the expensive way to overclock. What's the cheaper way? The cheaper way is the second control board for overclocking. It's something like this. It will be very cheap to buy such a second control board and also very cheap to ship them because it is really small in size. The drawback of this particular overclocking combo is that it has very limited compatibility. It can only support up to three ant miner models. Anyway, maybe this is not a too bad way to overclock some of your ant miners, aside from using some of the third-party overclocking softwares. Okay, maybe this is pretty much for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.